Hey, it's Leanne here for What's Up Wednesday. Today I want to tell you about a technique for your energy toolkit or a tool for your energy toolkit that you can do in five minutes or less to totally boost your energy. Who doesn't want that, right? This has been used by indigenous cultures for thousands and thousands of years all over the world. And basically they use dried sacred plants and they use these plants by either burning them in a bowl or, or burning them on a stick. And by doing that, it helps ward off negative energy and in addition, restore balance to ourselves. So um, let me tell you a little bit more about that. There's three of my favorite types of the plants that I love to use. Um, basically, there's cedar, and that's really good for protection. There's also um, sweet grass, and you can often see this dried sweet grass. You'll see it in the store, it'll be in a braid. Um, and that can be used to usher in the nice positivity um, that we want, or the new. And then there's sage, and this is one of the most popular ones. And basically, it's used to clear negativity and to help with healing. And sage is my most favorite one. It's the one I use most often. So um, I wanna show you how to smudge. Basically, this is what it's called, smudging. You've probably heard about it. Sometimes people you know, smudge their home, um, but not often do they smudge themselves. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more how you can do that today. So to increase your energy and to actually get rid of the old and usher in the new. So we're all energy, right? Like, I mean, everything is energy. We're energetic beings. And we have an actual field between eight to 10 feet in front and all the way around us in 360 degree circle. That's our aura or energetic field. And so it's easy when you think about your day to day, you know, how people get into your energetic field and how situations can occur that affect your energetic field. I mean, we even have terms that we use, right? Like, you know, let's say you walk into a room where there's something has happened. You can, you know, we say you could cut the air with a knife. You know, we can feel that something's off. Something's like this thick kind of heavy energy. So, you know, or, you know, you go to a party and you're talking to someone and you're like, yeah, I get, this guy's got a good vibe or this guy's got a bad vibe. Stay away, right? Or, you know, it could be a, a female, whatever. But we know intuitively um, when things get into our energy field, right? So today I want to show you how to smudge and there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, you can use this anytime you're just feeling off. If you're sick, uh, if there's been a trauma or a crisis in your life, um, you know, you've had an argument or a disagreement with someone. So I love to use it you know, reactively if something's happened, but I also like to use it proactively. So I love gathering with women because one of, I'm a firm believer that when women gather, great things happen. So I have um, a group of dear friends that we gather on the full moon and we smudge one another and it's such a beautiful way to give and receive. So you can do that on the new moon or the full moon or just have like a regular set time uh, to smudge each other. And um, so let me demonstrate. So this is sage that I'm using here, and this is actually a sage stick. So you can see this is like a really big sage stick. I got it as a gift, I love it. Um, you can actually burn it directly from here, or you can peel it off and like just, you know, get pieces into like an abalone shell and burn it in here. And either just waft the air around you with your hand, or often people use the, um, feather, which is really nice too, because with the feather, you can actually, you know, sweep it off your body really easily and, and really nicely. So um, there's lots of different techniques. Basically what I do is I just waft the um, smoke from the sacred sage plant around my head, around my arms, my whole body, my torso, my legs. And when I'm doing it for myself, I do it as best as I can around the back. That's why it's so much easier if someone else does it for you. Uh, but basically, I'm just setting the intention of why I'm smudging, and then I'm just being really, really present in the ritual of smudging and having the smoke cover my body, which is essentially clearing away the negativity that's in our aura. So I'll just kind of show you a little bit. 
smells so good. So I'm just lighting it. And you can see the smoke coming off. And you can get smudge sticks um, at any kind of like rock or gem store or spiritual store. It's becoming more and more common. I mean, it's been used for thousands of years, right? Like, let's start using these techniques. We know that they're tried and true. So then I just, you know, waft it around me. I like to close my eyes and take some deep breaths. Go down my arms, front of my chest, around my head, down my legs, bottom of my feet. Sometimes can be a challenge balancing. You get to practice balancing too. And around my back. Anyway, you get the idea, right? So I'm just gonna place this down here. So five minutes or less, you can totally shift your energy. I really encourage you to try it. And also go to leannebetts.com and I've got 10 other ways to boost your energy. So you can download my free gift. Um, but in the meantime, happy smudging. Like take some time to really clear your energy. Have a clean slate, a fresh start. And this is really one good way to do that. You know, oftentimes we, you know, make these new goals and things like that, but energetically we're not there. We'll, we might still be carrying some of the past with us. So, you know, use an opportunity to smudge to basically clear out your energy field so you can usher in all the newness and goodness that's waiting for you. So until next time, happy smudging. Any questions, just let me know below and I'll respond um, now if there's any questions or after the broadcast. But, um, you know, one other thing I just want to say is right now is a good time to smudge with the sage to clear any negative energy um, and help with the healing of, of what you're letting go of and also to bring in cedar to burn, to bring in the new and usher that newness uh, into, your, into your life at this time of year. So happy smudging and let me know how it goes. Until then, be abundant.